Hi, I'm Anthony. And I'm Jill. And we're on the care staff here at Project Chimps. And today, we're going to show you how to make a ladder for the chimpanzees using recycled fire hose. When fire hose is donated, it arrives whole. So you'll see here that we've separated it into two parts. The outer part, which doesn't have the rubber on the inside, and the inner part, which has rubber lining. We're going to use both parts for this enrichment. So we have to first make the sides of the fire hose ladder. And we'll do this using the fire hose with the rubber inside of it. So we've got it stretched out here, and Jill is going to cut this into two six-foot pieces. For this step, we use a serrated knife, measuring tape, and a black sharpie. A good, tough pair of scissors may also do the trick. Now, we're gonna take the piece of fire hose that does not have the rubber and cut it into two three and a half foot lengths. These will be the rungs of the fire hose ladder. One thing we like to do here at Project Chimps to add some rigidity and structure to our fire hose enrichment is to take some two inch PVC and slide it inside of the fire hose, which works if there's no rubber inside the fire hose. So we're gonna take this two inch PVC it's five feet long, we're gonna cut it into two, two and a half foot lengths. And Jill's gonna hold on to this. We're gonna use an old barrel as a workbench. And I'm gonna cut it with a sawzall using a wood or metal blade. So again, as long as the fire hose does not have the rubber lining inside, the PVC should slide right in. So then we'll take the two sides of the fire hose ladder and put them about three and a half feet apart. And then we'll take the rungs and we'll space them out about every two feet along those laying across. So now we're gonna have our fasteners and our tools and we're gonna secure the fire hose at its intersections where the fire hose meets. So now at every intersection between the rungs and sides of the ladder, Jill's gonna put two, two holes spaced a couple of inches apart and she's gonna drill them in with a block of wood underneath. So now at the intersection where Jill's drilled, I'm gonna take a bolt, two washers, and a stop nut, and I'm gonna put it through the hole with a washer on each side to hold the fire hose in place. And I'm gonna do that for both holes, and I'm gonna do it at all four intersections of the fire hose, so eight eight bolt fastener combinations in total. So once we have our rungs attached to the sides of the ladder, we're gonna pick one end to be the top and one end to be the bottom. The bottom that hangs down, one thing you can do is you can fold the ends and drill and put a bolt and fastener through and that will prevent the end from fraying and also give the chimp something to hold on to. This step can be a little difficult because you will have to drill through three layers of fire hose and you're also gonna need a longer bolt, probably about an inch and a quarter. So now we've got our complete fire hose ladder and all that's left is to hang it in a chimpanzee enclosure. We're gonna bring it to Cedar Tree Villa and hang it up on the monkey bars on the porch enclosure. So I'm here at Cedar Tree Villa with Emma, Samira, and seven other females. And we're gonna hang up this fire hose ladder on the brake gating bars in the porch enclosure. So here we have it draped over the bars and we're gonna drill it in place over here through the double layer of fire hose. And then we're gonna use the washer, bolt, and stop nut just like we did before. So once caregivers are done cleaning this porch enclosure, they're gonna let the girls back out here and they'll get a chance to play on some of the new fire hose we've put up for them.